Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way on this beautiful Saturday. Um, I'm enjoying this beautiful day. I've got a lot of things done, um, but I still have a lot of things to do. I'm really trying to take my time with this purge and getting my doll room the way I want. I kind of got my doll room the way I want it. But the only thing I'm really that's holding me back now is my other two white shelves I want to put in here for my AG dolls, my eight, my um American Girl dolls, because they're staying in here. I mean, I love my AG collection, and I've been working a lot in my daughter's room today because everything that I don't have a place for in my doll room is like run off to my daughter's room so I'm going through all the stuff trying to see if I really want to keep it what is the future of it in my collection you know I thought that I would bring you guys on this journey that's why I decided to pop in with this little video so that I can you know chat with you guys a little bit and hear you guys um feedback and what you're doing in your collection as well um when you've been collecting a long time or not, you know, sometimes you look at what you got and you realize, oh, why did I buy that? And even though you like it, you still have to realize you can't keep everything that you have and you have to purge things. And it makes me feel good to purge because I do it all the time in my, um, my, my personal closet and in my home because I don't like clutter and that's why my doll collection is becoming so overwhelming because it is becoming clutter. I don't know what I got. Um, I'm finding stuff that I forgot that I had. So where I'm, at, where I'm at now and what I've been doing a lot in her room today and that's my baby's room. That's going to always be her room. So, you know, I got to still keep it sort of um, in a way that still represents her. Now, I've got doll stuff all in there. I ended up taking her bed up and I'm um, taking her bed and stuff out of there, but I still don't want that to just be a storage space for my dolls. So I do have um, shelving in there now and I do have some of the containers of stuff that are definitely keeps, not getting rid of, not today, not tomorrow. I don't know what I might do next year, but right now, it's not going anywhere. So, I've got stuff that is definitely a keep for now, and some stuff that I have looked at for a while. You know, I talked to my dolly sister today, and she was like, well, you need to keep it in storage. I've had it in storage. That's the point. It's been stored away for a long time. And I've looked at it out of the storage in the floor and looking at it and my mind and my feelings have not changed. <laughs> you know, it, I love the dolls. I love them when I bought them. I still love them, but I'm not going to do anything with them. So, you know, I need to sell them to someone who's interested in them and might have, a, you know, an idea of what they want to do with them. But my grandbaby is not interested in them. And my grandbaby already has more stuff than she will ever play with. So it's just time for those things to move on. And while I was in there, I stumbled across these things, which is why you're looking at these. Now, I already unboxed her. And then that's when I realized, you know, I need to share um, this, this idea and, you know, this little journey with my YouTube family. So, that's why we're here. So, I unboxed this doll already. This was the vanity set from the Big City Big, Dr Big Dreams um, series. You know, they got that big series. And I think it's on Netflix. I don't have Netflix anymore. But I think that the series is on Netflix. It's still on Netflix. And um, I got this vanity set from Target.com. Along with some other... Um, big city big dream items that I purchased for accessories and that's why we're here you know froggy stuff also had that same theme I said isn't it amazing great minds think alike you know I was already working on that and doing that and had taken these things out to unbox and open and I saw her um her Instagram post for the day that 
she asked a question, do we buy dolls just for their clothes and accessories? And yes, I do. And I know that you guys do the same thing because you've told me that in the comments. So I thought that I would unbox some of these things and have a little talk and chat with you guys. So this set here that's already out of the box and I just opened it. Um, of course, it's a set that I bought just for the vanity and the doll clothes. I got this set for like $6 and something. You know, it was a great sale. So, you know, it was like, look, clutter or not, you're going to get this. So, this is the Millie face sculpt that everybody is just over, over, over. You know, after you get so many of this same face sculpt, it does get kind of old. But I got her because, again, the vanity set and because of her outfit. I love the dress. The belt is separate. She's got this cute little hairbrush with the Barbie logo. And then, you know, I've got a ton of these white sneakers, but, you know, we'll find something to do with them. They probably end up in my grandbaby's little stash. But, you know, right now, she's at the age where she loses her shoes, you know. So, I, I don't usually give her too many pairs of shoes because, you know, she loses them. Um, I don't know what happens to them. We never find them. So, I don't know. But that's the doll that came with this vanity set. And then, of course, we got the vanity. All right, so we've got a cute little, what do you call these little boxes that you put your makeup and stuff in? It's a name for it, and, and my mind is going blank. But it is a functioning box. You can open it and close it. It comes with a hair dryer as well. It comes with a makeup palette there, as you can see, and along with the brush. And it also comes with this bottle that I'm not even going to try to guess what it is. I don't know. You know, I'm not a makeup person like my daughter, so I don't know. I don't even know what it could be, but I really like the vanity set. I think this vanity set is really cute. The lights are not functioning lights um, on the mirror. Um, you got the little um, stuck on, they're like stick on um, pictures of makeup. Nail polish is a little plant there. And then you got some makeup brushes. The drawers are not functioning drawers. And then you've got the back that looks like this. And it's a real nice structure. And it seems to be made very well. And I'm very glad to have it. With my doll houses and everything going on right now in the doll room. I need extra, I need furniture. You know, I like to do crafts and make furniture. But at the end of the day, when I can find it for a good price... I'm not going to stress trying to make it. Though it is a lot of fun making it. But I do like to find little pieces like that. And then I have these two sets here with the shoes. These are the shoes. I ordered these a few years back, guys, from Kmart.com. And I also got these for a great price. And I ordered them again because I love shoes. I love shoes. And my dolls love shoes. <laughs> And again, you got that same Millie face sculpt, and she is a beautiful doll. I mean, look, even if you see her a million times a day, she's still beautiful. And I love her outfit that she wears, and I love the shoes that she comes with. I think that silver pair with the rhinestones on it are my favorite, but love it. And the back of the box is nothing but a little activity saying, help Barbie find her shoes. So that doll is probably most likely going to get donated. And then here is this beautiful doll here. Love her face. When I ordered her, I didn't realize she was going to be as beautiful as she was. And she is gorgeous. This doll is a gorgeous doll. She has green eyes. I mean, I have not seen this face sculpt that much. And I'm planning to rebody her for sure. That was always my intentions to rebody her whenever I unboxed her for those shoes. I love that dress that she wears. I love the colors in it. And I like her shoes as well. And I really love that orange bag there. You guys that are good at painting the details on the shoes and the purses, you all could really hook this stuff up. You really could. Really, really could. But we're going to unbox these and we're going to check it out and look at the dolls up close and in detail and chat a little bit more about purging and the doll collection and where we're going with it guys bam she just had to fall all right i've got the girls unboxed and i've done a little 
body, um, a little changing up and changing clothes. Didn't do any body swaps, but I am going to get a body swap done because this doll is a fabulous. She's gorgeous. And I am, I, you know, I, she's just gorgeous. I'm not in a rush because I have so many made to move models, so many beautiful ones. But this doll, from the first time I um, added this set to my collection, always told myself that she was going to be a future um, body swap because, head swap, because she is so gorgeous. Now, here she is free from the box and out of the packaging. And I want you guys to see her without the glare. Isn't she absolutely stunning? She's just gorgeous. You know, this is, I want to say this is the Teresa face mode. Teresa, Teresa, you know, people pronounce it differently. But she's gorgeous with those light, those hazel, hazel, um, hazel eyes. And, and they're gorgeous. I mean, everything about her face is just perfect. And let's check out her hair. The hair is really, um, soft and, you know, it's, it's cute. I like the highlights that she has in her hair. I mean, she's a beautiful doll. And again, I love her outfit. You know, she's got this old little cheap, um, body <laughs> and you know it's not just the basic five points of articulation that i'm talking about you know the body is very lightweight and flimsy so you know it, it she has got to get a new body if she's if she's going to stay so her head will probably get removed and placed on my head spool um display <laughs> i do have one of those and um so it's gonna I'm gonna definitely be removing her from this body um the first chance I get. Now, I love the shoes. I did swap the clothes on the dolls, the doll um the Millie because now this is the Millie that came with the set, you know. I mean, nothing different. Sometimes the difference is the eyes might be a little um bluer and the skin tone might be a little different. The skin tone was different. This one was more tanner than the one I swapped the clothes to. But she's going to get donated. Um, but this is the fashionista in the wheelchair. Don't I cannot recall her number. But she's the previous wheelchair fashionista. And um, I thought, why not just go ahead and use her? She was nude, and, you know, we're all about those made-to-move bodies. So, let's put her on the made-to-move body so she can just sit here and look gorgeous, which is what Barbie does. So, I guess we'll start with her shoes. Now, she came with this adorable dress. I like the dress. I think it's so cute. You know, it's it's a cheap, basic little fashion. But, you know, accessorized right and on the right doll, you can really do some things with this dress. So, it came with this necklace as well, the plastic necklace. Also came with this um, hot pink clutch. And let's remove that. And again, I like the dress. I like the dress. The dress um, Velcro's in the back. And um, again, it's really cute. And she came wearing these hot pink heels. And these heels are fabulous. I love these heels. I love these heels. Gorgeous, gorgeous heels. Also came with the yellow purse here. Bend your arm, girl, so you can model the purse. She came with this yellow little um, purse here with the details the bow and i mean it's a really cute little purse and then it also comes with this um silver tote that is a functioning tote you can open it and you can put some stuff in it i really like that i like things that are functional you know and this is really cute all right so those are the purses she came with so let's try on my favorite pair of shoes now i got these little clear cases if you guys are wondering I got these little clear cases that are displaying the shoes from the Dollar Tree. I got them a long time ago, but I think it's one of those things that you they have they have in on a regular, but you know they they go out of stock a lot because I haven't seen them in a while. But um, they're makeup holders, and when I first saw them, I saw something I could use in the one six scale world. So I got them. I got a couple of them and you see what I'm using them for. My doll shoes. <laughs> yes, I had my doll's shoes. This some doll shoes displayed in it for a while. But you know my doll shoe my doll collection is real large. So 
that didn't last very long. So here are my favorites from her collection. These are absolutely gorgeous. I love these shoes, guys. I love these shoes. It has to toe out. I mean, these are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And they're rubbery. You know, the curvy girl might be able to pull these off. But I love these shoes. Those are definitely my favorite. We're going to try on one more pair. Um, I want to try on a pair that I don't have. The other ones, I will show you guys those as well real quick. But I really love these white ones too. I love these. I love a strappy heel sandal. Now I'm just going to tell you. I love a strappy heel sandal. Every woman must have a pair of strappy heel sandals in her wardrobe. Because I'm telling you. These are shoes. When you wear a heel, you don't walk in them. You strut. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I love these. I love these shoes. So let me show you the other shoes that came in her, her shoe set. Okay, so we got this black heel here. Now, I have several of these. So this isn't one that I don't have. But I do like those. They are a pair of my favorites. Yep, I like those. And then we have these purple, sexy purple um, sandals as well. I really like those. They're really cute. I'm trying to let you guys see them without my big hands taking over the whole shoe. And then I have these too in different colors as well. It's another very sexy, popular um, style shoe. And it comes with these pink. Come on out of there. I knew it was going to do this. This is when you need those tweezers that you see so many um, collectors use. All right, I'll get the shoes out in a moment. And then it also comes with this little necklace here. Comes with this little necklace. I don't come on out of there, shoe. And you know, my hands, you know, I say this all the time. My hands, I'm going to move them closer to you. My hands are just not what they used to be. But these are the high top um, sneaker like style shoe. That it comes with because I'm going to end up knocking all the shoes over trying to get that one shoe out of there. So those are the shoes that come with that set and her yellow purse and her pink clutch. Let's fix your necklace girl. Now let's move you here out of the way and let's check out the shoes in her collection. All right. All right, so she came with this necklace, too. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but she came also with this um, plastic necklace. And she comes with this handbag. This is one of my favorite styles of the handbags. And it has the rubbery strap. It's like the quilted um, design and embroidered um, zipper there. Also comes with this cute little gold um handbag that's the size of a clutch and it has a lot of details in it i'm not sure if the details are showing on the camera but it has a lot of details and then it has this gorgeous orange um bag satchel whatever you call it it's a name for all bags and you know i used to know but you know i i don't anymore <laughs> all right so here is the bag it does open it's not as rubbery as the tote, but it does open. And this is how it looks on the other side. Real cute bag. And then she came wearing these orange shoes. These are some shoes we've all seen several times in the Barbie world. Have you been buying Barbies? You've seen those in different colors. All right, so I'm going to try on these white ones here because these are definitely my faves. These, these white ones and those orange ones. I love these. These are gorgeous. I love these shoes. Check those out. I love them. Look at the, the um, tassel detail hanging on these shoes. And they go all around. They're on both sides. I love them. And then the design here in the front. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love these shoes. I love them. They are my favorites in this collection got some nice shoes so let's try on these orange ones yeah 
these orange ones or sh she's rocking these orange shoes these orange shoes with this orange bag oh yes girl you got it going on so here we are love those as well loving the details on them they're absolutely gorgeous look at the front and all the details on these shoes really cool really really cool i think i'm gonna let her keep on those all right this stand in doll stands are nice to have but sometimes they can be a nuisance all right so they also come with these purple wedged heel sandals I've got these too. I've got these in several colors. And we have these purple ones here. I got these as well in my collection in several colors. Like the shoestring, the string tie there. Really nice. And like I said, those of you that are good with painting the details on these shoes, and I've seen them, I've seen you guys do it. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I showed you that pair. All right, let me show you the green pair. I like these green ones, too. I like these green ones and the details in the heel there. I like those. And the details in the front. They're really cute. They're really cute. I like them a lot. And then I have these boots in so many different colors. White, black, <laughs> red. So they're cute as well. So some nice shoes to add to the collection. And um, a beautiful face mold to add to the collection. I mean, she is a beautiful doll. She's just gorgeous. And a few little, um, a few pieces to add to um, my doll's wardrobe. It's always nice. Come on, necklace. It's always nice to add um accessory pieces and of course i stripped the millie that came with the vanity set put her dress i love that belt and um put her belt there on the um <laughs> on my mannequin um so yes i really really like that that's really cool let's put barbie up here on the shoe on the shoe display all right there you go girl are you gonna sit there are you Oh, no, we'll just put you here. Put you here and let everybody just check you out. You know, everybody's over you anyway, girl. But you know what? You'll never grow old in Ruby Red's World of Dolls. We love you. <laughs> we love you. But, guys, that is the set. Um, that was a lot of fun. That's three boxes that give me space because what if you know it or not, the boxes, well, I know you know it. The boxes take up a lot of space. And, you know, when you're trying to make make use of all your space and you've got the stuff that you can unbox, you can save a lot of space. And like I said, you know, I have had these dolls for several years, these two with the shoe packs. And it was just time to unbox them. You know, when I went through that, went through my, that stuff in my daughter's room, I said, you know, I got to get some kind of organization going on here with these dolls. But I'm really, really realizing that being on restriction and questioning all of my purchases is making me slow my roll and making my collection not continue to grow so much. Because guys, at one time, I was always in Walmart and Target looking through the clearance sections trying to see if I could find a great deal. And you know, it is a great deal, but it's only a really super deal if I'm getting something that I'm going to use and something that has a purpose in the collection and I'm not just going to take it home and it's just going to end up in one of the closets in a storage tote, you know, and then a year or so later, I'm either thinking about giving it away or trying to sell it, you know, to get rid of it because I didn't even use it. So I'm trying my best to make better choices with my spending and with my dolls because I'm really enjoying the fashion dolls and the accessories. Like I said, I love my 18-inch dolls, and I got all kinds of other dolls, too, that you guys don't see that I love as well that I do not plan to part with. But once I go through what I got and I get my shelving like I want here in my doll room, I will get them displayed 
or I can get the shelves like I want in my daughter's room and, you know, do some displaying in there as well. I've got dolls in her room, but they're more like my large collectible um, dolls. But there are dolls that you don't see that I'm not going to let go of. But, you know, you don't want to be hasty and get rid of stuff and then regret it later. There's only been a few dolls, a few. I had a Cabbage Patch that was a very was a limited edition and i had her like i think i had two of her and when mama passed i think i ended up getting my mom's as well i think i gave my mom's to one of her sisters and then i think i ended up well i know i did i ended up selling both of mine because i just wasn't into them like i used to be and I was purging the collection, real, real purging then, you know. I was really being good with my doll hobby. But then, like I said, in 2015, you know, my family was hit hard with my brother and my mama. We lost them both within a four-month time frame. You know, grief hits us some way, everybody differently. And we all go through it in our own way so i guess in my own way you know i fell hard back into collecting my barbies and fell into the american girls and i've just been going head strong and i've been enjoying it but now i'm just overwhelmed with it and i want to continue to enjoy my dolls and I love coming in this doll room right now because everything's on display. When my grandbaby came last weekend, she said, oh, Mima, I just love the doll room. It is so nice, Mima. Everything looks so nice and organized. And that's coming from a six-year-old. So that tells me, you know, that I'm headed in the right direction. You know, I like it. I like the openness of the room. The floor is clear and I can walk in here and walk around. And, you know, I just love it. And the dolls are all displayed nicely. And that is my vision for my doll room. That's my vision. So, again, I've been really good with my dolls. I, I, like you guys, I've told you, I'm waiting on the rest of my Barbie Looks dolls to come. Um, I got one to complete my collection, but you guys know I order multiples of the Barbie Looks dolls um, because I just like to have multiples of them for many reasons. <laughs> and um, so I got those. I did order um, two other pre-orders um, at Mattel Creations that's supposed to be released sometime next month. And right now that is it guys. Like I said, I'm doing really well. And I'm and I'm I'm looking at other dolls, but I'm just not buying them. And I'm enjoying looking at everybody's collection and seeing what everybody else is doing because that is a lot of fun and that's um relaxing to me as well. So that seems to be all we gotta discuss today in this video. I just thought I'd just bring you guys along with these on um, these two unboxings because I had already unboxed that but just to show you what I do what a lot of the stuff that I buy it ends up condensed down because the dolls usually end up in a pile to either resale or donate and then I just end up taking their pieces you know I mean these pieces are great they're really nice but I'm definitely keeping this doll and her beautiful face because she's gorgeous 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 all right guys i can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments about what you got going on in your doll collection and what dolls are you buying are you stepping back and taking a look at your collection and trying to make better choices or are you just enjoying it and you're just gonna buy whatever you want and you'll just deal with the rest of it later can't wait to hear from you guys i love to hear from you guys all right, guys, so you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video. <laughs>